percent and now some families in Orange County might have to pay even more when the tax bill comes in. Orlando residents might wish it was just 13%. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Keith Landry. That's for sure. I'm Tracy Jason. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer rolled out his proposal for next year's budget, and it includes a nearly 18% increase in property taxes. Mm. That's a big one. Tomorrow evening, commissioners are expected to approve that increase. Our Kimberly Wiggins live in the Satellite Center with more on that double-digit number. Kim, I, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised to hear that number. I think you're right, Keith. Now, city leaders say they just don't know how else to balance the budget. Many residents say they still need to find another way. They're the words no one ever wants to hear. Property taxes for those who live in the city of Orlando are about to go up way up by 17.7 percent. I don't think we can afford it at this moment. I think it's a little steep all at one time um, where I might be able to pay for it. People that are on fixed incomes are going to have a difficult time with such a, a sharp increase all at one time. Many residents tell Fox 35 they understand city leaders must balance the budget, but they add this is too much, especially when many say they feel not all neighborhoods receive their fair share of the money. You should all have a benefit from that. I mean, if not, then it's not, it's not responsible, it's irresponsible. Uh, we need responsible leaders. The increase comes as part of Mayor Buddy Dyer's proposed budget. City commissioners already got about $52 million, but they say they still need to slash $17 million more. City leaders blame several things, including state tax reforms. City employees will also get a 2% raise. The hike equals about $120 per year for every $100,000 your home is worth. The closer it gets to the time frame. Something realtor Karen Arbutine says worries many of her first time home buyers. In the one hundred to two hundred thousand dollar price range, they're very sensitive and that could increase their taxes up to one hundred and fifty dollars a year. She also worries what that could mean for the city's bottom line years down the road. We need the first time home buyers to keep purchasing to keep the economy flowing. Now, the final vote is scheduled for tomorrow. The hearing is expected to begin at 5 and 1 p.m. at City Hall. In the Satellite Center, Kimberly Wiggins, Fox 35 News.